Hi, I'm Margaret Reed McDonald. I'm going to tell you a story that was taught to me by Vi Hilbert, an Upper Skagit elder. This is a Lachutzid story told by many people in the Pacific Northwest who speak the Lachutzid language. It's called Lifting the Sky. If you ever go to Seattle, you'll know how low our clouds are and see why this story makes sense. The Creator was going there, going there, going there. He was traveling across the wide world of ours, and he had a basket full of languages. His face was shining so brightly no one could look on his face, but he was giving out languages to all the people in this great land of ours. A language for the Iroquois people, a language for the Cherokee people, a language for the Seminole people, a language for the Hopi people, for the Navajo people. He crossed the land, giving everyone a language. And when he came to the Pacific Northwest, where we live, he still had a basket full of languages. What to do? So many languages. Well, he just dumped them all out. Everybody got a different language. The people in this valley spoke one language, in this valley another language, on this island one language, on this island another language. No one could communicate, no one could cooperate. And there was a problem in those days. The Creator had left the sky too low. Tall people were bumping their heads into it. And some people were climbing into the sky country before it was their time, and that cannot be allowed. So all of the chiefs met to think how they could work to push up the sky. If they had even one word that they all shared, they could cooperate. They created a word, Yaha. That would mean cooperate. And all the chiefs went and taught their people that word. Ya how, ya how, ya how. It means cooperate. And everyone went to cut a tall pole to push on the sky so they could all push together. And when everyone had their poles, they all shouted together, ya how. Oh, the sky went up a little. It wasn't enough. One more time, ya how. Oh, went up a little more, but not enough. Do it again. Yeah, how? Oh, a little more, but not enough. If this had been a European story, that would have done it. In European stories, three is the magic number, but this is a Native American story. The magic number is four. So one more time, all the poles and all the voices were shouting, and they pushed together. Yeah, how? And the sky went up where it is today. Don't worry, you'll never bump your head on it. And my friend Vi Hilbert says that shows what happens if we all share even one word and cooperate. If you'd like to tell the story yourself, look in the book Peace Tales, World Folk Tales to Talk About by Margaret Reed McDonald. That's me. The version in here is in Vi Hilbert's own words transcribed from her own telling. Do tell the story and tell them it's a Lachut Seed story when you tell it.